what is going on guys my name is dustin welcome back to more feed the beast beyond as you can see the scenery has changed a little bit uh the few days that we have not recorded jeff and i got on and we're up really late actually building a base in survival the base was built by smithers boss i'll leave a link to his video down in the description below uh, and go check it out and build it for yourself we did in survival it took for freaking ever and i'll never do it again so all you guys that have built my tutorials in survival you're crazy but uh rancher's here yeah there he is everybody in the comments tell rancher to set up his xbox he's putting it off but i'm gonna give you guys a little tour of our base so this is my house i got a little wheat farm got some sheep and some chickens and then in here i got my my furnaces my anvil a couple crafting tables some chests more furnaces it's gonna be really nice over here at jeff's you can see him doing his thing jeff's little layout right there and then we got rancher over here who should be decorating his house <laughs> there he is as you can see rancher is living in luxury he got a bed yeah and, and also a sleeping it. bag yes in a sleeping bag so we uh, have this little main room here uh this is kind of where our main hub is going to be we got these gold chests jeff and i made they actually hold double the storage of a normal chest as you can see we got stuff in there um portals in the center that we can walk through mining dimension and another portal some extra chests some furnaces and then we got like the stuff we made over here in the one episode the coal generator and the pulverizer and all that and then we have our little gate so mobs can't get in in order to get there's a farm up above too but you kind of have to like parkour your way up there which you guys know that this is a struggle for me even though this is like the world's easiest parkour but climb up the ladders and you got a little farm Carrots, coffee, cotton, wheat, potatoes, I think, are up here as well. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. That's our, it's our little area there. And then over here, we got our smell tree and stuff, which that's actually what we're going to be doing today is stuff with this. So, that's the plan. Also, you guys are watching this video on a Tuesday because it is Sunday and I am stupidly tired at 9, 10 p.m. For whatever reason. So, Rancher, when do, you, uh, when do you plan on having your Xbox set back up? Can we give the people a time frame while we wait on Jeff? I have here. no idea. Huh. <laughs> literally, all, literally, guys, all uh, Rancher has to do is set up his Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> But I know, I know the struggle of that, dude. It sucks. I hate setting up consoles. Well, also mine, I have to dust off because the, uh, well, let's just say I had part of a wall ripped out, so it's all dusty with drywall. Yeah, so Rancher has to clean his Xbox as well. But he will be back soon. The egg will return. Yes. Okay, Jeff, so what's the plan this time? We're going to make a hammer? Yeah, uh, so the stuff I have set up, or I know that we have the materials to do this episode, is we can make a Tinker's Construct hammer for each of us, which is really helpful for mining, getting materials, because it mines out a 3x3 three three area instead of one block at a time. And That's also, nice. we're going to be setting up auto-processing of ores. Yeah, there we go. This is like the first time in between episodes where like we didn't necessarily plan for the episode like everything that we're doing yeah. today like jeff literally just watched youtube videos <laughs> like yeah, 20 literally minutes just ago just watch youtube videos for like ideas based off of what we have yes like where we are in the mod pack but we will uh obviously plan the next couple um, but this was kind of like a, I wouldn't say it was like on short notice. We just kind of decided like, Hey, let's record yeah. early. Cause normally okay, we record so like 1030. For the Tinker's Construct Hammer, we are going to need some iron. We're going to need a bunch of iron, which we have. Yes. 
chest oh. is it in? It's in the one I'm in. Okay. So we're gonna need that plus. I need to look. I need to make this first off before we do anything else. By the way, guys, this base took Jeff and I a solid like two days. Yeah, it did. Because where you see the grass and stuff and the path blocks, that was all stone. We mined um, all of that stone and put grass down because it just looks nicer. So, Rancher, are you able to make some more seared brick blocks? Um, I will need to go grab more stuff, but I should be able to. Okay, because we need that to do this because we need to make a... Oh, wait. Hold on. What did I just see? I know we don't have much seared brick. We have enough. Enough? Yes. Ooh, we have enough. Okay. We had like five blocks. We only need three. Okay. So if we come over here to where we move the small train tickers construct stuff and we grab the uh, tool station. Let's go in to a crafting table. Uh, yeah. Of course, it's a normal table. We need to use this crafting, crafting station. Crafting station. You just threw it down. Yeah, I know. Then you guys are able to see what's in it. You guys don't even want to know how annoying it was moving chests full of stuff, by the way. You don't. So, <laughs> the way to make the tool forge is we take three seared bricks across the top. Yep. A tool station in the center, and then two, or two iron blocks on either side. And that'll make a tool forge. And we can use that to make like more advanced tools head to tinker's construct. And if we uh, look in here for the hammer. Ah, uh, yes. We need two tough rod, or one tough rod, two large plates, and a hammer head to make one hammer. And. That means yes. we need to make the patterns for these in here. So hammerhead, the large plate, and tough rods. Yes, and that's where this I comes into place. The smelt tree. Yes. It's basically like casting. It's like like we're basically blacksmiths. Yes. So we need to put some iron in this and start or in gold, iron and gold and smelt it down okay let me grab some if i can remember where it is <laughs> it's Please. everywhere yeah, it's just, yeah. we don't need a lot of gold like maybe 10 will do it okay but we'll need a bunch of iron because each of those large plates takes eight ingots do you have the iron on on you or no i just grabbed gold here how much iron Grab like a stack. Alright. It's to be a lot easier once we set up the auto processing later, because then all you have to do is mine it and bring it back here and it'll automatically turn it to ingots. Yeah. You want me to put the ingots in or Yeah, put the iron in. I need to Are we grab in the part builder? cobblestone. Yeah, we're gonna be in the part builder. I need to grab cobblestone. Let's grab like a stack because the way to get the like cast for these is you pour gold over like the stone part and mm -hmm. it will give you the cast for it. So if we make a stone tough rod and a stone large plate and a stone hammerhead, put that all back. I didn't make the hammerhead. Okay. So now in the casting table, if we come over here, let's do the tough rod first and we wait for this to smelt down, make sure it's gold on bottom. And yeah, we goes. pour this out. Yep. And boom. It, that makes the tough rod tool cast. Now if we do the large plate, same thing. Oh wait. Hold on. We're gonna have left. Boom. This one takes. We have six ingots left. Uh, we need two more gold. Cause the hammerhead also costs eight. There's more gold.
This Here. part we only. I've got it. Oh, okay. Luckily, gold doesn't take long to smelt down. It smelts down really quickly. Like it's already almost halfway done. Yeah. Well, now, gold's really malleable, so. Yeah. Uh, who has the cast for the large plate? Uh, large plate? Yep. The. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Rancher poops. Okay, now we put this here. Bing. It makes that. Now if we nice. put these back in here with and then specify iron on the bottom. And we right click. It will start making iron large plates. That looks like blood. It does. Well, blood has iron in it. Yep. That's why blood is red, is because of the iron in it. Okay, Mr. Scientist over there, yeah, I already knew that, though. It's more medical than science. <laughs> he just, yeah. The way Rancher just looked at me, because, like, his face is so <laughs> close to mine. <laughs> oh, so God. So we're going to need six of these. Swiggity swooty, he came for this booty. This booty. Um, right here. maybe go, Rancher, maybe go grab, like, another half sack of iron if we have it. We have, like, 20 left. Well, grab that. We'll use all of it. <laughs> okay. We'll need to go mining between episodes, but it'll be easier once we have these hammers. This is what Jeff looks like in real life, too, by the way. Definitely. <laughs> Even though, Even though they can on. see my face right now, I know. yeah, he has face cam on. This, this is definitely what I look like, IRL. Yeah, I feel like if Jeff had a costume like that, he'd wear it though. Probably. What is your skin? Is it just something you found cool? Yeah. Who are you, Ranter? I actually forget which character I am. One second, I can have to take off my armor. Uh, rune. Oh, you're rune now. Yes. Rancher made these skins, by the way. Yes. Rancher made those two. Yes, he made mine. Mine. And his. Yeah. I found mine online. I feel years like. Ago. I feel like Jeff needs a custom skin. But I like this skin. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Take so long. I have this one and one more to do. Well, we just stare at each other awkwardly. <laughs> Everybody, look at Jeff. Do you see Jeff's head glitching out? No. It like just randomly like starts shaking like crazy. No, that's you. See, his is doing it for me. Yours isn't. Jeff's is doing that for me. Rancher's <laughs> is doing it for me. <laughs> Dude, Minecraft movement is so funny. Okay, last one of these, and then we can do tough rods, which won't take as long, because they only take three instead of eight, and then the hammerheads, which will take just as long as these, because they're also eight material each. Jesus. <laughs> Goodbye, Rancher. Where did he go? <laughs> He's bouncing on treetops oh. way over there. <laughs> Dude, he just yeeted the fetus right off. There he is. <laughs> Here it comes. Okay, that's you. Yeah. Oh god, we only need three of these, and can... they take less. Dude, he just flew across the whole base. Yep. Can you imagine if he just landed in the smell tree and then just fucking blood pours <laughs> out? God, dude, I did it again. What? What? I drop f bombs casually. <laughs> oh well. It happens. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. And yeah, is that? We need one more. Okay. Yeet! <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> Hello, skeleton. Jeff, he wants a piece Rancher. of that. He wants a piece of that booty, Jeff. You want to deal with that? Where? Right outside the smelter area. Behind your house? Yep. He just died. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. So how much do we have left? We need 24 total. We have three more than we need in there. We have 27. Oh my god. 
USPS is blowing up my phone right now. <laughs> of course they are. So I had this package, right? Like you guys already knew the story. I'm going to tell the people. I had this package yeah. uh, that I got for being a Patreon member for this uh, disc golf thing. And this package contains a very hard to get disc. Um, it was basically only available for Patreon members. Uh, and then whatever was left outside of the membership went to a public release. But there was only like 30 released to the public because all the Patreon people got them. Um, and this disc is reselling for hundreds of dollars. So this disc is coming from Virginia. I live in Pennsylvania. It's like eight hours away. And uh, it leaves Virginia and goes to North Carolina, which was I was like, OK, that's kind of weird. And then went from North Carolina to Maryland. I'm like, okay, it's in Maryland. It's not that far away. Like, it should be here in a couple days. It was, like, projected to be here last Tuesday. And uh, it never came. And then it said it was arriving late. Um, and then it for, for a couple days, it told me it was in Maryland. And then it ended up in Asia. Like, overseas in Asia. And just now made it back to, like, 45 minutes away from my house. Here's the representation sam's supposed to land on that torch yes and i'm the package yes overseas yep. gone okay we have everything for these hammers now hey land in the water so the hammers that's an iron hammer yep grab it we will <laughs> also be it. upgrading these oh we're upgrading this episode too uh, not a huge upgrade, but yeah, we'll be upgrading. We'll see. In in Sky Factory, Jeff and I have it like the rancher. Jeff and yeah. I have it very um easy, I guess. We can max upgrade everything and use no materials. <laughs> yeah. Me grab. Okay. Come back out here to the tool force. We're the hammer bros engage. that Jeff loves in in Mario. Yeah, screw it. Fuck the hammer, bros. Oh, don't put that in there yet. One at a time. Okay, someone else put their hammer in. Grab it. And last person. So now that will give it a mining level of obsidian instead of iron that it had. Nice. Yeah, this so is now cool. it's technically a diamond hammer, other than it doesn't have the speed yet. And the durability is still kind of low, but we can upgrade the durability with obsidian and the speed with redstone. How many modifiers does it have left? None. Well, once we get more materials, we can like put more modifiers on it. Plus, when you use them, they level up and get modifiers. Yes, and we will be using these in between episodes. So you were gonna yes. set up the the auto something, the auto um auto processing. Of auto process, yes. What do, Dad? Okay. So, for that, we need to make a alloy smelter, a sag mill, and a sterling generator. That all sounds very complicated. It's not that bad, honestly. It says you. Just literally, the sterling generator is just one iron. <laughs> That's the most expensive thing in it. The alloy smelter does need a capacitor. That's pretty simple, though. Oh, great. You guys are, like... Modded Minecraft yeah. still blows my mind. Um, We don't have any some... iron. I can get some. Hold on. Let me... Uh, We have a lot of gold. I'm going to sacrifice one gold ingot for this. But we can get iron back out of the smeltery. What we have to do is put an ingot in here and pour gold over it. Gold on gold. Gold over gold. <laughs> and this will give us an ingot cast that we can use to get iron ingots out. We only need one for this. That is we crazy. Will also, for the alloy smelter. Yeah. We need a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight iron ingots and four iron bars. Well, we can start at this episode then. 
because we don't have enough I mean, iron. I can, go, I can just quickly go into the. Uh, do you want me to? World. Do you want me to keep pouring ingot cast in while we can? Yeah. Here, I'll head into the mining world. Yeah, you have a hammer now that'll help a lot. Because you'll mine a. Oh god. You'll mine nine blocks at a time instead of three okay, or instead of one. I, I got two iron oh, ingots. Okay, two portals um, now. One second. Yeah. I got an extra gold ingot. Well, we replaced the one gold ingot you sacrificed, Jeff. Here, Jeff, you want this iron? Sure. So, I know we're going to need redstone. We have the iron. We're going to need for the rest of the sterling generator, basic gears, just sticks and cobblestone. We find our sticks. Find sticks. Yeah, damn it. Do you find iron yet, Rancher? No, I'm in combat now. I'm starting to make this. I'm making a Starling generator, which is really cheap. If I can find some. There we go, planks. Go. Now we just need a furnace, and I need to make some stone bricks. I don't know if we have any smooth stone, but we can get some pretty easily. We can easily make some smooth stone. We literally just need to put some in with some coal. And let me grab that there let that smelt down let's see so if i don't open up i can think since my taskbar decided to show up taskbars the alloy smelter we're gonna need to wait for rancher to get back with iron four because that's going to take four seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, plus 20, so 21 there. I don't know if he... Rancher, are you in a ravine? We need 21 iron minus... We need 19 iron from there, Rancher. 19? Yeah. All right. For the alloy smelter, I need to check the sag mill. I just went in the mining dimension. I didn't know where Rancher was. I think he was in a ravine. We need five more to 24. 24 iron? Oh, God. 28. Because this thing also uses a machine frame. We need 28 iron. You know what? I'm going into. Twenty-eight iron. There you are, Jeff. I see you. Yes. Uh, I have eighteen iron right now. Oh, jeez. More though. I'm gonna start looking on the surface. See if I see any. Yep, there's one. Grab the hammer. Oh, found iron. Yep, I've got one. 23. Can you make oh, appetite nope. armor? 24. I've got one, so we need one more. How much do we need? I thought you 20, said 28. Er, yeah, 28, so I've... That, so three more? Yeah. Is iron non-existent up here? There we go. I found two more. Okay. Means we need one more if you can find it. I'm kind of just digging in a direction. Oh, my hammer's about to break. Time to switch to normal pickaxe. 
Yeah, once we get a good source of obsidian, we can make these have a lot more durability. Also, later on, we can make unbreakable hammers and unbreakable pickaxes and stuff. Nice. Why am I not using this to go around? Maybe. The slime I think sling. we've got enough. Yeah, and uh, hang glider. We've got enough now, I believe. Okay. Do that. I'm gonna make a new portal thing. I destroyed that one so we didn't get confused. Okay. I'm at the portal. Oh, there's a skeleton attacking me. <laughs> and we're back. Okay, and now we go back. Hi. Hi. Okay, so we need to smelt these down. Whew. Where'd all that mood stone, or that cobblestone coal go I put in here? Should still be in Let's, there. Oh, I put it in the other one, okay. Other side? We yeah. Got it. So we've got stone bricks now. We're gonna try as an arrow in his back shoulder. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> I I would love in the episodes of Sky Factory when things would go haywire for Jeff and he'd come out of wherever he was looking like a human pincushion. <laughs> <laughs> when we were fighting the Wither. Yep. So I've got the Sterling Generator, so now we just need a Sag Mill and a Alloy Smelter. Um, yeah, I'm working on the Alloy. Okay. I'll do the sag mill then. We gotta watch Jeff craft. Oh, we can't. Sag mill requires this. So iron bars. I need more iron. Oh shoot! I need a cauldron. Yeah, I need iron. Well, so, yeah, looks like you're going back to the mining dimension. I counted for the cauldron and everything. Oh, did you? Yeah. So then Let's we see, how right. much more do I need? I need four, eight, seven more. So... I have the iron bars now. Yeah. Why'd you... I made iron bars. Oh. Can we smelt them down then? Yeah, you can. Smelt those down because we should only need eight total. Yep, they're cooking. Yep. Holy as long as you bars. put all of them in there, it should give you back the six ingots it took. Oh. Wow, look at the iron bars. Do you have the ingot cast there? It yes. should it's still on the table. Yeah. Let me watch this and see. It should give us back the same amount. Yeah, it does. Once this one finishes it, five and gets some ten nuggets right now. Or five and gets five nuggets. Woo! There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Yeah, there. Nope. Okay. Wrong one. Yeah, I know. I accidentally swapped it. It's right now though. Well, we yes. now have a gold. Well, we double replaced the ingot I had to sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I can make the sag mill. I need gold nuggets. And a copper ingot. You only got a little bit left, Rancher. Yep, one more. There we go. Now if I make the capacitor. Bless you. Ow. And then the machine chassis, which is just the capacitor and iron bars and iron ingots. 
We can't watch him make it. This is just a regular crafting table. Yeah. I need planks again. Uh, Gio, do you have the um, iron bars? Yeah. I'm finishing making this sag mill. I'm just about done. I just need flint. The old sag mill. And there's a sag mill. Cauldron. Then I just need that. So... Alloy smelter. Woo! Yep, give me a second. I'm gonna move these chests here. So we have room to put machine. Them? Not really. We can just leave this as like a machine wall. That's the plan. I was gonna put the sterling generator there. Now to cover up the hole and then the we can alloy? put uh put it. Let's see. You can break these two furnaces if you need to. Put the alloy here. That thing looks menacing. Which one? All of them together. <laughs> so we need to give this coal. Coal, coal, coal. You know what? Let's give it that 27 coal. This one's better than the coal generator we have here. It gives off a lot more power. And it can hold a lot more. Right now yeah, it's 40, all going. RF more. Yeah. Plus it's like import and export for power and everything. It's just a lot better overall. Look at that. Things are happening. Right now it's filling these up. And if we look at ingots, say iron ingots. <laughs> Just get you guys to watch this power. I'm so quiet. I'm tired. So I do apologize. Hey, you made it to level 40. <laughs> weep, weep. so the reason why we're using the sag mill for this is because when you crush down stuff like iron and i think gold and stuff too it gives it has a it gives you double the iron because it'll give you two pulverized iron which each smelt for an ingot instead of just smelting the ore for one ingot. We'll get two ingots per ore. Mm. Fancy. So with this, we're definitely going to be on the up and up. Next episode, I think you plan on what doing some like quarry stuff, maybe? Yeah. Because that'll help us get some more ores and stuff really easily. Now, are we, we gonna, actually are we going to set that up in the mining dimension? Um, no? Rancher. What? The quarry. Are we setting up the quarry? Is that going to be in the mining dimension? or? Yes. Oh, there we go. It'll be in the mining dimension. We should have solar panels we can use to power. I think. I'm pretty sure solar panels are in this. Yes, we do. We have solar yep. panels we can use to power it. Oh, yeah. The really good solar panel mods in this, too. Solar Flux Reborn. Yeah, which one is that one? Yeah, this Just one. Type in solar, and then it's yeah, the I, ones I at the bottom. One. There's like seven different variants. Yeah. When are we going to get Rancher's <laughs> Nuke that falls out of the Chaotic ground? Chaotic solar panel. What? When are we going to get Rancher's Chaotic. Nuke that falls out of the ground? <laughs> we can't get that in survival, remember? <laughs> well, we can still have uranium. True. The Chaotic solar panel is the best one, but that's like end game solar panel. 
Yeah. We aren't going to have that for a long time. Even probably the one we'll be able to get up to is... I'd say, what one is this? The tier 5? Because that requires tier 4s and gold and glowstone. Tier 4 just requires iron and a clock and tier 3s. Tier 3s requires iron, redstone, repeater. Tier 2s. Tier 2s just requires tier 1s and a piston. And tier 1s just requires redstone, planks, and mirrors. So tier 5s we could get up to with our current stuff. Wow, look nice. at us go. We so which, good. Yeah, which tier 5s give 512 RF a tick, which, by the way, this Sterling Generator is only giving 20 right now. Also, the tier 5s can transfer 4,096 at a time, and it can hold up to 8 million. Jesus. Nice. So are we pretty much done for this episode, then? Yeah, I'd say so. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. Go check out Jeff. Link down in the description below. I love you. See you next time. Bye.